Hey everybody, it's JW from Trade the Fifth. We are shooting a video today. We get a lot of phone calls about the start bar number. Um, literally, it's probably the most uh, amount of emails we get for TradeStation. Let me show you guys how to do this. I know in the four hour bootcamp video, Paul says that it is zero. It is actually one uh, in order for it to uh, automatically calculate the uh, weight count for you in the, in the green, amber, and red box. So we're gonna right click the chart, format analysis technique. You're gonna go to Elliott Wave, format, and start bar. Instead of zero that is automatically in there from the beginning, you put one, click OK, click close, and it will count itself out. We're gonna do it again, right click, Format analysis technique. Elliott wave. Format. Change your start bar to one. Click OK. Close. And it's done. Now, one thing that you have got to do is you got to make sure you save your workspace. And I like saving them as the date. So that way, if I make any changes and I mess something up, I can go back a couple days. Um, if I make some Changes like this, I can save it, and I know it's the day that I've changed it to that. Now, the other thing that we get a lot of uh, emails about, I get a lot of Twitter messages asking about isolating the wave count, isolating the wave count. Um, this is how you isolate the wave count. On TradeStation 9.5, you're gonna have this little button up here, analysis commentary button. On TradeStation 10, you have to go under view and go down here to announce commentary button for whatever reason trade station 10 won't let them put a logo on that toolbar up there don't know why but it's right here guys view analysis commentary on trade station 10 on trade station 9.5 it's right here once you click that button either there or underneath the other one you go to the lowest point or highest point of the previous day. I'm gonna take this low point right here. You click it once, and then make sure before you click anything else on your screen, you shut it off. You gotta hit the X, and it'll do your wave count for you. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in here and let's change this wave count to zero so that they're not automatically in there, and then that way you can see how this works. I'll change that to zero. Okay, no more wave count. Analysis commentary. Low point. Click the X. There's your deal. Put your start bar at one, it automatically does it. But if you wanna put this on your chart, let's go to a, uh, let's go to a 30 minute chart. And let's go to a daily. Let's say that you want to, this is a nice low point right over here. Click that, close it off. You'll see that there was an Elliott wave on this day here and it went really, really high. It's pulled back down, created a wave one and a wave two and we're, we are at where we're at now. You can actually see a black box breakout signal there at 26,261, and it's currently at 26,504, so not a, um, not a bad little uh, breakout signal here. So let's go over that again. Analysis commentary. Now we could go over here, and we could take a high over here, and see it popped up this wave Five here wasn't a big one um, but I mean on a daily chart that actually is a big one um, you can chart over here pops up one here I like using the isolating the wave count um, if you've had a big gap up day or down or just crazy things going on or sometimes if it's not automatically showing a um, Elliott wave pattern popping up that I like to kind of uh, just explore different time frames to see where we're at. 
um, on there. And you can see how we're doing this right now. That uh, Let's go over here. See, see if it pops up something different. Well, look at there. And look how many days this thing went sideways like this and popped out. Uh, now, one word of caution. If you get over here and be Mr. or Mrs. Clickmaster and you just keep analysis commentary, analysis commentary, you're going to get a like runtime error through TradeStation saying that there's over 5,000 objects being measured because every time you click it, it is running the software through from that point on. But it's also remembering every time that you've clicked to run the analysis commentary. So keep that in mind. Uh, it could uh, slow your performance down, which TradeStation already has its own slow issues at times. Um, you don't want to make it any slower. So uh, be sure you clear your cache every day. Remember how to do that. Windows button, documents. Let's go, let's do this again just so you can do it. How to clear your cache, Windows button, documents. Your C drive, mine says boot camp because I'm running Windows on a Mac, but yours would say C drive or something close to it. Program files 86. You're gonna go down to TradeStation 9.5. Your mouse is automatically on program. And then you go to cache, right click, and delete. And it's going to tell you you can't because I have TradeStation open. You have to have TradeStation closed when you do it. And that's all, you, that's all you guys do. That's how you isolate the wave. We get lots and lots of emails about it. It's very, very easy. But keep in mind, if you keep isolating, you're going to slow down your machine. You, you will get that runtime error, especially if you have an older machine and not very much RAM memory. Um, it is definitely going to slow you down. Appreciate it, everyone. It's JW from Trade the Fifth on isolating the fifth wave and wave count on TradeStation 9.5 and 10 and adjusting your start bar to 1.